y'all. Welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share an outfit of the day with you guys really quickly. This is just a beautiful sheath dress that I've been wearing and it's gorgeous. It's got these like mesh cutouts, um, but I love it. It's like a column kind of long um, at the bottom. And I don't know, when it comes to dresses, you have to know, I don't know, you have to know what like fits you. And for me, there's certain areas where if it's going to be like a fitted dress, and it's long, it can't hit me in certain spots or it just makes me look shrimpy or it makes my legs look huge. Um, and then like around the waist, if it's gonna have a lot of volume, it has to have volume at the right spot or it makes my waist look huge. So for dresses, it's a little different. When I find a dress that I really do like, I love it. Like I'm just like, oh, I love it because I feel good in it. Um, and I think that's important <laughs> um, for when you're getting dressed is that you feel good in the clothes but that you also know what works well for you um, in terms of garments. My lipstick just fell. Okay, so let me stand back there and show you guys what I'm wearing. And I love this kind of peacock blue um, combination with this lip. It's a MAC lipstick. It's the shade Watch Me, Sim Watch Me Simmer. And I just think the pop is pretty for summer. And then in the fall, you could easily do this dress with a very dark mouth, like a deep burgundy mouth. And the contrast is equally as beautiful. So you can kind of change it up um, as for the season. So anyway, let me stand back there and show you what I've got on. That's my Victoria Beckham clothes. Okay. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's got these really pretty kind of cutouts here, um, which I worry a little bit about my strapless bra kind of peeking through, but it does not show. So as long as I guess it's thin, um, it doesn't show. But I do have to kind of tuck it down um, on the sides so that it's not poking out. So it's got those mesh cutouts there. They go around, um, and then the back at the bottom, which. You can't even see because it's so. I'm short and the dress is so long on me. Um, it's got another mesh right here at the knee, which is really pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Ooh. It's got like another mesh area. So really, really pretty. And then it's got just a really pretty neckline, um, which I really do like. There's the back, and then there's the front. And I feel really good until I eat something, and then I'm like, woo, because it's. So form fitting, um, but look, this is my problem area right here. You can see it still. No matter how much I run or how many sit-ups I do, this right here, it's like my C-section bump. Do you see it? It's like right there. It does not want to um, go away. It's just like this bump that I have that will not disappear, and it's so frustrating because I'm like, just be flat, just be flat. Um, and even if I wasn't like super, super flat. I just prefer that it not be a bump on my body. And there is one, and it's just difficult to deal with. Um, so yeah, anyway, my earrings are Kendra Scott. They're the turquoise ones from the spring collection. Um, or was it summer? No, they're the summer collection. The spring were kind of pastel. So there's those, and they're really pretty. They're teal with like a gunmetal finish and the black. But I just thought that the turquoise kind of popped really well with the, tur with the peacock blue color. That I have on and then on my face as I said my lipstick is the watch me simmer by Mac and I just put that on everywhere it's a real pretty coral my eyes are the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows these are the individual ones um, and I like this one right here which is a very soft brown with this hot chocolate in the outer crease and then I do bring that black in you can see I brought it in very very lightly I use a very small brush and just bring it in to kind of help create a crease where I really don't have one. Um, so that's all I have on my lids. And then I do use this one, which is just a, it's called Fresh All Over. And it's just really, you know, really pretty color. Make that smoky eye. And then on my cheeks, I have on this blush right here by MAC. And I want to say, I don't remember the names. I'll put it down below. I want to say it's Melba. Um, but just really pretty kind of coral for summer. And then just to kind of bring everything together, I do pop on a coral color because I kind of match my cheeks to my lip. 
um, I popped on Style, which is a coral shade. I didn't bring it over here, um, but I popped that on just to kind of like mash, mesh everything together. So that's that. And then my highlight is the Marc Jacobs, what is it, the uh, Spotlight Glow Stick. And it pops up. And this is a wet product. So what I have to do is when I put my foundation on, I do my concealer. And then I will go in with a brush and put this right here on my cheekbones. Then I set everything. So I apply this product on top of the foundation where it's already wet. And then I set everything with powder and then I don't touch it anymore because this is a cream product. And if you do like cream and then powder and then you want to put more cream on top, it doesn't work. It gets splotchy. So the thing is, is to keep everything wet until you set. And once everything's dry, you don't touch your face with a wet product. Does that make any sense? That's how I have to do it because I get extreme oily stuff on my face so it goes crazy um but anyway i hope you guys are having a wonderful summer so far thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye bye